Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to create appointment confirmation and reminder campaign uh, using automations, go high level workflows. So let's see, uh, let's go to settings and calendars. And uh, here we're going to see two calendars. I'm going to work with this one. So whenever there's an appointment booking in this calendar, I want them to receive confirmation and reminders. Let's come here to automations. Let's create a workflow. So here's the deal. We can either start a workflow from scratch to create our automation or we could use some help that GoHileb is providing for free and use one of these recipe appointment booking, recipe appointment confirmation plus reminder, exactly what we want. Let's select this and let's create a workflow and you'll see the magic here. As you can see, GoHileb has pre-populated a few things already here. Now, if we go to confirmation email, there's you can see a bunch of content, but let's let's give it an appropriate name. All right, okay, good. Now let's look into the workflow trigger, which actually activates this workflow for a lead or a prospect. Event type is normal, appointment status is confirmed. You can get rid of this. When there's an appointment booking in calendar, book an appointment, this workflow will be activated, right? Now let's look into the content. Hello, your appointment has been confirmed for time. This is the user. So this is the user that is added to that particular calendar. So uh, it will be you or the guy who's doing sales calls for your team, right? This will be hopefully replaced by your Zoom or Meet link or the guy who's doing sales calls, his Zoom or Meet link. Let's copy this and let's add an SMS. Let's have the same content in the SMS. Now, for the reminders, this is uh, actually the other way around. If you look into the confirmations, the confirmations can be triggered by the booking. It can send after five minutes or 10 minutes or like whenever you want it, but the reminders will be counted backwards. So one hour before the meeting, one day before the meeting, one week before the meeting. So this actually runs backwards for that. This is a weight trigger. Let's let's actually remove that. We we want this reminder email to go 20 hour, uh, 24 hours before the appointment. So let's let's show you how it's done. There you go. Nothing. Now we are going to add a weight trigger and we're going to say 24 hours before appointment. Let's say event appointment time before 24, or you can just say one day. Now, this is an important thing. If the timing of this wait step is already in the past, how should the contact proceed? Let's say I'm, I'm putting like, uh, you know, not 24 hours. I'm, I'm putting like uh, zero hours and uh, seven days. So if an appointment has been booked before five days, like I'm booking this today and the meeting, the actual meeting is after five days. So this is not valid anymore, right? So this will skip to the next wait step, which is logical. So this will skip uh, to the next step, uh, which would be like for one day before, which is valid. So that's what this is all about. So let's go back to the original 24 hours. Okay, one day, right? Done. So this is 24 hours before. What are we going to send? Your appointment is in 24 hours. This is what high level has generated for us. So let's just copy this and create an SMS out of it. All right. You get the idea, right? So this is what the reminders are. This is one hour before this is being sent one hour before the appointment. See you in an hour or something like that. And the same thing goes uh, through SMS if you want it. Then at last, don't forget to publish and hit save. So this workflow will automatically send them confirmation and appointment reminders for those who are booking appointments in the calendar booking appointment.